All right, so many traditional Toledo events. Well, they fell by the wayside this year. Thank you, COVID-19. But you can still make your own festival and enjoy the great fall outdoors. Crystal Phelps from the Toledo Arts Commission joins us this morning. And the big usual September, October events this year not canceled, just changed a bit. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, good morning, Amanda. Thanks for having me. So uh, last year, we remember it was a really, really cool event with uh, a ton of things to check out in downtown, all these different installations and um, different ways that you can make your own art, right? So tell me a little bit about, for folks who um, maybe haven't heard of Momentum before, exactly what this event is all about. Sure. So Momentum historically has been a celebration of the revitalizing riverfront that we have in downtown Toledo. We really celebrate the arts and music and makers, and we've had lots of activities in the past, including hands-on events and large-scale temporary public artworks, things of that nature that really emphasize critical mass along the waterfront with renovated Promenade Park. So that started in 2017. As a result of COVID-19 uh, this year, we had to take a different approach. Rather than focusing on uh, critical mass, we decided to shift gears from a three-day event to uh, programming that lasts for five weeks. <laughs> so uh, as a result of coronavirus, we obviously wanted to make sure that things were safe and still allow access to our events and programming to the community during this time. You know, we're looking at some video from a previous event of uh, these uh, uh, inflatable turtles. There is a variety of cool uh, different pieces of works of art. You guys are, are working on all types of different um, styles of art. So what are some of the things that people can experience this year? So this year we have a two-tiered approach. Uh, one of those avenues being virtual content. So if you visit MomentumToledo.org, you can check out streaming opera performances. There's going to be a premiere of a version of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea tonight. Uh, and other things, there's an online exhibition and a virtual artist market. And our other avenue is the discoverable portion of our event, which includes a downtown-wide scavenger hunt. And this includes works from our Art in Public Places collection, as well as a new project by Graphite Design and Build called the Toledo Alphabet Project. And we're really excited about that one, it really um, highlights Toledo pride. And Graphite Design and Build took letters from historic typography of Toledo businesses and made 26 illuminated sculptures that are in windows all over downtown. Wow, so you can discover them, as you said, on your own, because as you said, you know, before we were like, okay, let's cram as many people as we can. Uh, now, of course, we have to do things a little bit differently, but we're allowing people more time, as you said, over the course of five weeks to kind of discover these things for themselves. Do you have maybe a favorite thing or a tip that you'd say you really got to check this out? Oh, I absolutely love the Toledo Alphabet Project because you can visit it not only during the day, but also at night since they all glow. That is definitely one of my favorites. There's also some new murals down along Water Street that are um, wrapping up this week. And those are going to add to the infrastructure of when we can hopefully welcome people back downtown next year. Yes, and I know we've um, gone and visited them as well and, and seen some of the incredible work from these artists. So again, you can get online and get on the website and kind of see uh, what's available and do some stuff online from home and then, you know, get out and discover some things on your own as well. Yeah, absolutely. And we encourage folks to um, visit the website. You can also get a printed guidebook and a printed scavenger hunt map at Market on the Green down on Madison. Very good. All right, Crystal, thank you so much for joining us today and for figuring out a way to continue to make this event happen. <laughs> yes, of course. Thanks, Amanda. Yep, take care.